Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about coordinate geometry in three dimensions. Specifically, the distance between two points in three dimensions and their midpoint, as shown here in the syllabus. The formula for the distance between two points in three dimensions and for the midpoint between two points in three dimensions are both given in page 6 of your formula booklet, as shown here. In three-dimensional space, we specify an origin, O, and three mutually perpendicular axes, the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. And any point in space can then be specified using an ordered triple, in the form x, y, and z, as shown here. The origin has O has coordinates 0, 0, 0. And referring to the diagram, consider the Y and the Z axes in the plane of the screen and the X axis coming out of the screen towards you. On these axes, the point 3, 4, 2, for example, is located by starting at the origin O and then moving three units along the x-axis, that's outwards, towards us. And then four units in the y-direction, that's to the right. And then finally two units in the z-direction, that's upwards. Pythagoras' theorem can be used to calculate the distance of the point 3, 4, 2 from the origin, O. And that's the distance OD shown on the diagram. We see that the point 3, 4, 2 is located on the corner of a rectangular prism, diagonally opposite O. Within this prism, if we consider triangle OAB, which is right-angled at angle A, we can use Pythagoras' theorem to find the length of OB, the hypotenuse of that triangle. By squaring the sides of sides 3 and 4 and adding the results together, we get 25. So the length of the hypotenuse OB is the square root of 25, and that's equal to 5. Now if we consider triangle OBD, which is right angled at angle B, again we can apply Pythagoras' theorem to find the length of OD, the hypotenuse of that triangle. So squaring the lengths of OB and BD and adding the results gives 29. So the length of OD is equal to the square root of 29, which is 5.39. So the distance of the point 3, 4, 2 from the origin is 5.39 units, correct to three significant figures. If we now repeat this process for the point with coordinates x1, y1, z1 located at point D. Applying Pythagoras' theorem in triangle OAB gives a length of OB equal to the square root of x1 squared plus y1 squared. Moving on to triangle OBD and applying Pythagoras' theorem again Squaring OB and BD and adding the results as before. And square rooting gives a length of OD equal to the square root of X1 squared plus Y1 squared plus Z1 squared. So the distance of the point X1, Y1, Z1 from the origin is found by square rooting the sum of the squares of the coordinates. Extending this to any two points in space, the distance between those two points in space will be the length of the line segment that joins those two points. We consider the two points as being at opposite ends of the diagonal of a rectangular prism, as shown in the diagram. Applying Pythagoras' theorem to the right 
right angle triangle in the base gives a result shown in blue in the diagram. Then applying Pythagoras' theorem again, this time to the vertical right angle triangle, leads to the result shown here, where D is the distance between the two points. And again, this formula is given in page 6 of your formula booklet. In this question, we are asked to find the distance between point A and point B. If we begin by writing down the distance formula in three dimensions. And then identify the points. Substituting the values into the equation. So that's x2, take away x1. And then y2, take away y1. And then z2, take away z1. Remembering to square each of those calculations. We can simplify the calculation. Given the square root of 89. Alternatively, we can type the calculation into the calculator. So from the main menu, if we select Run Matrix, Option 1, and then Shift to access the square root button, put in a bracket around the difference in the x-coordinates, minus 2, take away 4, and square in that, adding on, put in a bracket around the difference in the y-coordinates, 4, take away 3, and square in that, and adding on, and again a bracket around the difference in the z-coordinates. Put a bracket around that, and square in that, pressing execute, and then pressing the decimal display button. To give a value of 9.43398. So the distance between the two points is 9.43 units, correct to three significant figures. The midpoint of two points is the point midway or halfway between the points. In other words, it's the point that's halfway along the line segment that joins those two points. The coordinates of the midpoint M are found by taking the average of the X coordinates, the average of the Y coordinates, and the average of the Z coordinates. And again, this formula can be found on page 6 in your formula booklet. In this question, we have to find the coordinates of the midpoint M, of the two points given. So if we begin by stating the midpoint formula in three dimensions, and then identify the points. And if we substitute in the values, First, finding the average of the x coordinates, then the y coordinates, and finally the z coordinates. And if we simplify the result to give a midpoint with coordinates 4, 4.5, 1.5. In part A of this question, we're asked to determine the coordinates of the vertices R, C, B and Q. We're given the coordinates of vertex A as 2, 3, 4, so we can use these to determine the dimensions of the box. Since the X coordinate of point A is 2, then all lengths parallel to the x-axis will be 2 units long. And since the y-coordinate of point A is 3, then all lengths parallel to the y-axis will be 3 units long. And since the z-coordinate 
for point A is 4. Then all lengths parallel to the z-axis will be 4 units long. So as point R is just 2 units along the x-axis, its coordinates will be 2, 0, 0. Point C will be 0, 3, 0. Point B will be 0, 3, 4. And point Q will be 2, 0, 4. In part B, to find the coordinates of M, the midpoint of the diagonal, RB, if we start by stating the formula for the midpoint, and then identifying the points, in this case points R and B, as they're on either end of the diagonal. Substituting the values in, finding the average of the X coordinates, and the Y coordinates, and finally the Z coordinates. Simplifying the result, at the midpoint M has coordinates 1, 1.5, 2.